What's up, y'all? This is Jay Penny, and this is Second Wind Podcast. My favorite, favorite part of the house, for real, is the Jersey Wall. These are probably my two favorite, just because it's, it's crazy how life comes full circle. Uh, both my dudes, they from CT. Um, this is a real, real special one of my dog, Tyler Coyle. Um, we put our first helmet on together, for real, since we was six, seven years old. Um, and to see his name on the back of a uh, NFL jersey, just crazy, bro. A bunch of my college guys here. Um, Quadri Alderson. Got Dane Jackson over here at D-Ham. My boy Whitehead. Um, man, it's just a bunch of memories, a bunch of relationships, and that's just what this game is. You know what I'm saying? So, grateful for all these boys. Before we get into this episode, I want to give a big shout out to anybody that shows us love, anybody that reposts our stuff, anybody that likes any of our guests, anybody that likes me or Jarvis. Uh, we want to ask y'all a big favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us way more than y'all know. Every time y'all subscribe, builds the pod. And obviously, we want to get this pod as big as possible so we can continue to have big guests like we do today, um, continue to help y'all catch y'all second win. And if that's not incentive enough... If y'all don't hit the subscribe button, my kids ain't gonna eat this month. You heard so him. y'all should just, uh, you know what I mean? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the show. There is no way this works that well. <laughs> why, why are you so happy, bro? What you mean, I can't be happy? Nah, you can be happy, you just a little extra today though. I'm not being extra. I just got this new thing today that made my boss feel mad smooth. Here, feel this. Damn, that's smooth. It's really like this? That's what it does? That's that manscape, bro. For real, it's like, it's super legit. And last time I didn't use this fool, bro, I was mess I messed myself all the way up, cut myself up. It was really bad. Manscaped, bro, it's the, it's the real deal. Don't tell me that's that lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's that advanced skin safe technology that reduces nicks and cuts. They also got ball deodorant and You'll, you'll like this one. Crop spray toner. Well, bro, where can I get me some? Because I know you got that discount code. Come you on, bro. You already know I got everything. You. And I Falls right around the corner, so you know we need fresh balls. Get 20% off and free shipping using code adversity at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping using code adversity at manscaped.com. As the leaves fall, make sure you have it all with Manscaped. I hope you don't know I'm about to use his man, Skate. Yes, sir. You see what's going on. Got that Hello Fresh right to the front door. Number one meal kit in America. I didn't have to sit in line for an hour and a half at the grocery store. Didn't have to spend $90 on a $10 burger on Uber Eats. You know how they charge for all the delivery fees and everything. And it's cheaper than groceries because me and Jarvis got y'all a discount. Second win 50. Go to HelloFresh.com. Slash second win 50 and get a discount. And I'm going to even show y'all how to make it later on tonight. Y'all going to see me chef it up a little bit. You know that song? Adele got where she's like, hello. She just forgot to add the fresh to the end. So I'm going to show y'all how to really, really, really cook. Me. Chef, you need that. Hello, fresh. I told y'all I'd be back, man. Got the Hello Fresh cheeseburger wraps. 20 minutes to make, easy instructions, and I can't even make toast, so that's how you know it's easy. Go to HelloFresh.com slash second win to get 50% off again. It's HelloFresh.com slash second win to get 50% off. You got the HelloFresh lettuce wraps. And what's up, Second Win family? You know, back with another episode of the Second Win Pod. I'm Jay Mills, of course, with the best co-host of all time, yeah, Gio. Yeah. And today, man, I have my Connecticut brother on the show, uh, starting safety for the New York Giants, man, uh, Jason Pennock, a.k.a. Jay Penny, if you know that side. Um, but, yeah, thank you, man, Jay Penny. Thank you for coming on the show, brother. No problem. Excited man. to do this episode, man. Yeah, I'm nah, for real. See. For real, because the season right here, like, yeah. that shit is this week. Yep, so, like, for you to take your time out your day, bro mm -hmm. especially knowing how locked in like tunnel vision you have it means a lot to us especially Not getting right. getting that starting spot Not and getting real, right man, man. you know you what i'm saying you're doing your you're thing bro going. proud of you we don't Appreciate see a lot of jay penny interviews at yeah, all, we so. gotta get, yeah. Get my man. Right, was, but we've been talking about this for a minute much. yeah we've been talking about it for a minute yeah we've been talking about this for a minute i've been saving really it for this one because i mean i don't really let a lot off in the media even you know within reporters and stuff i'm in and out with them uh, you know, so I'm a real personable person. So yep. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. So with that being said, bro, just 
starting off, you know, us being from Connecticut, you know, I know the struggle, you know the struggle of it to like not get exposure. You know, Connecticut is not a Cali. Connecticut is not a Texas. It's not a Florida. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, describe that process of how it was for you to get exposure being from Connecticut and how hard it was. Yeah. Man, it was it was it was tough, bro. You like you said, you know, uh, I give all the all the props to my pops and my dad. Uh we left those camps, those seven on seven leagues, you know, that you gotta do with your high school. And mm -hmm. I went to those prospect camps. We drove the miles, his gas money, you know, we invested. Um, I had to go out and do that on my own. Um, CT, even, even I'll never forget, and I wish I, uh, his name is Brian Elko, Brian Elko, Coach Elko. Um, he, he kept it really real with me one time in my living room. And he said it, he was like, you know, we're real late on you in this recruiting process simply because you're from Connecticut. Like he, he just, he said it straight up, you know, and I got a lot of respect for him. I don't, I don't talk to him too much uh, to this day though, but th that conversation has stuck with me because it was just a simple fact like, bro, we can't, we cannot evaluate you right. because of who, not even just you as a great athlete, but who you're going against. Yeah, who you're playing. You That's know? always the knock on yeah, us though. That's bro, always the knock on us. It, it is yeah. bro, it is. And so my pops bro, driving me to those camps, uh, being able to ball and, and those talks, on the way there, like letting you, hey, bro, just because we somewhere else or they from somewhere else, like they got to tie them cleats up, put them pants on, put that helmet on, like yeah. you do you, you know what I'm saying? So, but I think it's so dope, like guys like you, um, you know, I, I did pretty well for myself too, going power five, but bro, mm -hmm. guys like you, bro, you're pushing the narrative for like yeah. Connecticut guys from a small state, like yeah, doing sure. your thing, you know what I mean? Like that, you're one of the pillars is like, yo, I see Jay Penny, bro, he playing for the Giants, like. Yeah. People from where we from, bro, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you pushing the narrative. Like, that's what we need. Right. Because there's not a lot of us like that. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know if that uh, Connecticut ball could really bang with PA. No, I'll be having this conversation, bro. Nah, because <laughs> he's the one, bro. Hey, we gonna bro, talk I'm about the off. pit. Who you telling? He's the one, bro. We're going to talk about it off the camera, bro. But, like, <laughs> I, like, I respect PA ball. I just heard through the grapevine. I do. You know me. I respect it. I just got to keep it G. Like, that's just what I heard. It's like... <laughs> I done heard about all the Hall of Famers. Oh, they here it is. This, this uh, high school. Trust look, me, look, look, I know. Hey, trust me, we I gonna know. talk about it off the camera, but like your journey, like where you are now, going yeah. from Pitt, like going from Connecticut to mm -hmm. Pitt to now the NFL speaks. It, it speaks. It's a testament to like how hard you work, mm -hmm. right? I read an article about your brother talking about when you was super young and you yeah. used to be like. I'm going to the league. You was like uh -huh. eight, nine, ten. That yep. was like your saying. I'm going to the league. I'm going to the league. When's your warrior? Like that—that yeah. that was your saying. So yeah. talk about how, like, how actually making it happen. How yeah. that makes you feel, man. That—that's—that's that's so funny. Cause I was just talking to my cousin. He's uh—he works through my dad's insurance company. So really, he was like my second brother, like mm -hmm. my only other sibling besides my brother. Um since I was like 11, he's been in the house. So every time he see me now, he's like, yo, I'm going to the league. Cause like, bro, <laughs> yeah. since I was, you can ask mom, dads, whatever. Like I've always been a real determined kid, bro. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I was always, I manifested everything, bro. Like I, I'm really one of those, with, if I feel like I put the work in, bro, like it could get done. Like, why not me? It should yeah, be like that. Why not? Yeah. Why not you? Why not anybody? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You listen to any successful story, it, it sounds like a Cinderella story. And yeah. that's just, you got to make it your own Cinderella story. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, that journey is just, I think more so just being a determined kid. And I give a lot of them props to your your core. Like, mm -hmm. your core is everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you have those wild dreams and them wild aspirations. It's like, what what is being fed to you when you let them out into the world? Like, when I said that to my mom, my mama tell me, like, you got it, baby. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's big. And, like, my pops, who played... You know, he could he could have been a real self-centered. Oh, I, I done been there, done that. Like, hey, it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. He never he never did that. You know what I'm saying? He always was like, bro, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Hey, this is what we need to do. All right, you don't want to do it then? Then that's probably, it's going to be hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I think the guidance. Like his confidence in you never wavered type never, of thing. Never, never. The people that you surround yourself with and that you see every day, mm -hmm. their confidence never wavered in you. Exactly. And, and, and like for my brother, you know, uh, he, he, he had a pretty big injury, um, high school. And seeing him go through his ups and downs, and again, like you just stated, his confidence for me never wavered. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's people can get in their feelings and be like, you know, have some type of envy or jealousy towards you, regardless of blood. You yeah, know, that happens a lot. And, that's and true. I'm saying it that's happens true. a lot. Fam. That's true. And I'm just like, and that's why I just be so blessed, bro, for my like my core, like yeah. my circle. You know what I'm saying?
and, and being around you, uh, you know, growing up with you and playing football, I got to know your family pretty well. And mm -hmm. your dad, you you keep bringing up your dad, but yeah. your, your dad, your dad had a big impact, bro. Your dad played four years, Super you know, important. at Indiana. You know what I'm saying? He been through it, so he's yeah. seen it. So it's like, how important was that for you to like have him guide you throughout that process? Like, okay, he's seen it, but it's like, son, I've seen these things. I'm a yeah. help you through your journey. Yeah, man. It's everything, bro. Like I, I give a lot of props, um, specifically with my career and my journey to him, because mm -hmm. uh, you see guys in CT um, with. There's not a lot of guys like us, bro. Honestly, you know that went power five, and if those guys did, they're not in CT anymore. It's hard to have a a, a physical, like role model, in yeah. CT for this specific, I guess, profession. I'll say, right in front of you, bro. Like where you we don't from, come from, you where don't we get come it, from, bro. Yeah. And for it to be in my household was like that's bro that's my you career can't measure i can't you can't bro you know what i'm saying that's so, manifesting itself right there yeah, already that's it right there so i mean if you talk about what to give everything bro like for real no that's my that's my guy right there mm -hmm. man and i was gonna say unless you're from pittsburgh you don't really know that the steelers facility and Pitt share a yeah. facility right so for you being a for connecticut real? kid yeah mm -hmm. bro like right next to each other yeah, what? right next to each other, bro. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. Damn, I gotta get. <laughs> yeah, my, you gotta do hey, your homework, yeah, bro. My homework, God damn it. Yeah, like right next to each other. So mm -hmm. for you, like I said, bro, we from a small state. Being from Connecticut, going to Pitt, being around the NFL guys yeah. every day. Like you know, what I'm saying when I was at Pitt, we used to see the Pitt guys. So it's like I know y'all see them every mm -hmm. day. How important was that for you to be like, damn, like my dreams and realities right here every day? Like that make you work harder. Man, did it, and that was that was a huge. Uh, reason why I wanted to go there, bro, because like like I just said, since I was little, like manifestation for me is like it's been so strong. Like I've I've did and lived things that I've I feel like I've already seen. Right. You know I've already felt. So it's like what well, the better place that is to be next door to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like the the stuff I heard, the hospitality from them, uh, both Tomlin and just the front office and everybody over there, the accessibility that we had was crazy, bro. And like just to explain for the people and for you, bro. Yeah. It's next door, like Kenny, like so for Kenny Pickett, mm -hmm. he just goes probably <clears throat> five and a half feet over to the left and open the door now. For real? Yeah. yeah. Like it's just a Dang. it's a box, like with yeah, you, know, you get your mail security. That's the only difference of separating the doors. Neighbors. Yeah, no, if you, I feel like in that <clears throat> position, if you play for Pitt. If you want to get to that next level, it's it's almost hard not to get to you that right next level. Like you seeing what it takes yeah. to get to that next level, literally right in front of you, type of thing. Exactly. So that speaks. I mean, it talks. It speaks to all the all the people that came from Pitt yeah. to, the league. to the league. Like they already know how to be a pro, type you of know, thing. And, and I was just about to say, so like guys, bro, and like the the I was blessed for my time there. The the, the pros that were there were very like just transparent with their their story. Yeah. They routine every 6:25 a.m. I got laser with Minka. Like yeah. that was Joe Damn. Hayden. Yeah. He was like it, they were consistent and to watch consistency. You Did know, you, it was who, like who was someone that you uh got to be close with and talk to and learn Terrell from. Edmonds, T. Yeah, everybody yeah. know that. That was my He's man. man. <laughs> and I had Dreads in back in the day. Yeah. So we was like twins. But T, my that, guy. that's my guy, man. Just uh wholeheartedly you know he he did things he never had to do that i never asked for um wisdom that i you can't pay for at that age 19 right. lost wandering trying yeah, to find a out. way yeah trying to figure it out bro and like to have somebody doing exactly what you want to do and he's been doing it for some time now he's mm -hmm. on year five yeah, six yeah, yeah so yeah. been rolling so having that at 18 19 bro to kind of snatch me out of, I wasn't a bad kid, but you know, we all make bad decisions to snatch me out of them wrong decisions or, you know, the wrong journey I may have been going down is like, that's, that's, you, you can't, you can't pay that back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No, nah, for sure. And you know, what you did at Pitt obviously was good enough for you to get drafted, right? right. You balled out over there mm -hmm. and you get drafted to the Jets, like the yeah. team that you bang with, yeah. right? You, yeah. you a Reeves <laughs> fan. It's, it almost seems like, a match made in heaven when you get to the Jets, no right? Then boom, you get cut, yeah. right? And I always think like, what is your mental process when something like that happens? Especially when you're drafted like fifth round. Some mm -hmm. people that are drafted fifth round and get cut, they might never play again, yeah. right? So what is your mindset after that happens? Man, uh, and I, I kind of just spoke about this uh, in an article came out in uh, New York Post. I called my mom and like she she thought I was joking like yeah. she was just like I let her know and then um my my bro where I was mentally though I was 
I was so confident still, bro. Yeah. Like to this day, I still be like, bro, what was I thinking? Like I mm -hmm. was jobless. Like <laughs> I had no job. Right, right. right. Like, bro, it just, I felt like I had a place in this league. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, I, like wholeheartedly, I felt like I had a place. Um, regardless of how that day went um, and just being truthful, I did not. I don't think anybody thought I would get cut. Yeah, you know? that's what I heard. I was, right? I was yeah. starting all preseason, yeah. um, like shoulder pads, all sunflower seeds by halftime, bro, and got cut. So, like, it was, trust me, it took me a while to process it. Yeah. Honestly, the mm -hmm. whole ride home, I'm like, I'm trying to swipe my hand, access denied, access denied. <laughs> you know, like that Jamal Adams yeah, shit? Yeah, Jamal Adams shit. Real. The door. That shit real. For real? <laughs> yeah, that shit real. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Bro, I was like, what the hell? I'm yeah. like, wow. Like, okay, cool. And it, it's no, it's no telling about that like humbling experience, bro. Like grabbing your bag in front of all your dogs you just went to war with for the summer, and you got these, y'all manifesting these dreams and how the season gonna together. go together. And mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm Damn, saying? Like, this it's, business is crazy. It's, it's cutthroat. Like, but I'm it's, feeling emotional just, yeah. just hearing you talk about it because I know it's some dudes mm -hmm. who don't, it don't. Their situation doesn't turn into yours. Yeah. And like, that's it. Exactly. Like, yeah. They yeah. sitting exactly. there talking to their boys like, yo, like we trying to do this, we trying to do mm -hmm. this. Especially like you who was born. Like I had yeah. friends on the Jets when you were there, and they were right. like, yo. Jake He's Penny, tough, yeah, like yeah, so. Yeah. Like this is before I met you. <laughs> you know sure. what I'm saying? So I'm like, when you when I see you on the Giants, I'm like, wait, hold on. Yeah. How could they let him go? Yeah. He's tough, yeah. type of thing. Yeah. But it's is it talks like talks like this makes me think like, damn, this business is so it's cut, cutthroat. It's cutthroat, bro. It's cutthroat. Like, and <laughs> and to to be with those guys, like I mean, you name it. And and them my brothers to this day, DJ Reed, Sauce Gardner, mm -hmm. Brandon Eccles, Michael Carter, all them dudes, bro. It's it's like, you know, it's disappointing. But like you just said, that's what keep me going right there. It's people's story that wouldn't have, have not ended like mine. They never mm -hmm. got another shot. They probably never even laced them cleats up again, you yeah. know? So it's like, I'm grateful, bro. I'm grateful yeah. for it. Re regardless of where I be at, you know, I, I knew my work ethic. I'm a strong believer in this game gonna give you what you give. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I give it everything. I give it everything I got, so. But yeah. even from that perspective, um, I don't think people understand the emotional roller coaster Because yeah. it is. Like, your yeah. emotions always gotta be in check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, like you said, bro, one day I'm thinking this, I'm cut. Yeah. Then like and like obviously you know life moves fast in the league. Like you know what I'm saying? So for you, how were you able to be so confident and grounded still? One 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 of the my favorite quotes in life, honestly, man, Coach uh Coach Junko over at Pitt. Never get too high, never get too low. Just keep sawing that wood. Yeah. And that's like that's real, bro. Cause it's like my highest of highs, you know, I'm about to start opening week. Sunday night, Dallas Cowboys versus Giants. It's like I, I still I just stay like this. I just mm -hmm. stay just like this because it's like that moment lasts a week where I go out there, shit the bed, then everybody hate me again, right. you know? Or I make the one hand catch, everybody love me, everybody love me. Or I miss a tackle, or everybody hate they me. Hate like, you. bro, it's, it's you got to stay like this for you and for your family, you know what I'm saying? Because if you go with the, the flow of the game, you're going to be so yeah. inconsistent in life and just at home as a, a husband, as a, a, a son, as a a, a uncle yeah. you know like it's it's you can't let it do that to you yeah, so like i just i don't get too high i don't get too low i'm real i'm even no, a very good explanation right there now for real because there's highs and lows in every <laughs> yeah. situation in life and right. you take that to football like i'm gonna just stay even killed mm -hmm. that's what's that's the attitude you're gonna have when a situation comes with your relationship or mm -hmm. it comes with something else or something else exactly. like that's so smart like that's a smart way to go how you gonna it. act Mm -hmm. So, you know, you didn't really even have time to even process being cut. You get picked nah. up by the Giants. You know, you're out there um, dime packaging uh, for your first year yeah. with, the, you know, getting some, play, getting some playing time and then, you know, end up working your way now into that starting role, having a great preseason, um, doing your thing, obviously. Talk about the growth from rookie J. Penny to now. Man, <laughs> tremendous. Because, uh, I mean, as... It, it, the people who don't know, I played corner since yeah, I was six yeah, years old. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I played corner since I was six years old. And that's probably the only position, I'm pretty sure, yeah, in football that sees the game outside in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that was probably the biggest trans tr like transformation for me was seeing the game inside out now mm -hmm. and seeing all 11. And I've always been like, typically the best corner on my team so i would just follow i follow the best receiver and it's a one-on-one -on -one all day all game and i could just black out and i could just man you up make sure you don't touch the rock and that's mm -hmm. my job i'm done 
Like safety, you gotta hey, you gotta talk to the line sometimes. Y'all talk to the <laughs> line. Back. You're a quarterback, you talk to yeah. quarterbacks, yeah. But I've always been a natural facilitator, a natural communicator, mm -hmm. you know, within just how I was. Um, and I always got that from coaches, like, you know, oh, like you you really a safety at heart. You really a safety at heart. But um, yeah, that was for like week six, uh, rookie year. Got drafted as a corner, played yep. corner, all camp. Um uh, Week six, we got back from London. Um, whatever our London week was, out there with the Jets, and they said they had a numbers thing going on. Uh, they really, they were like, "Hey, you too athletic to not be on the field, at least with special teams." Yeah. Um, hey, we, we thinking about putting you in the safeties room for a little bit. You know, you can still go to corners meetings. You know, yada yada. Oh, yeah, I hear that. You yeah, can still I go now. Yeah, you yeah. gonna leave your ass in the safety? <laughs> that's what they're trying to tell you, that's right? That's how they do it. Yeah, with the like, safeties, boy. You, you can still go back with the corners, but we just need you there for now. Yeah, yeah so right. that's how it happened. And me, man, my my guy, Coach M, uh, Marco Emmanuel, man, we we hit it off quick. Um, he reminded me so much of my pops, bro. How he coached me. Mm -hmm. Um, consistent every day, never wavered. Whether I was not in the mood or in the mood, you know, he always, he just reminded me of my pop so much, bro. <laughs> right. So, like, I fell in love with it almost, like, the the, the growth. Like, I, I fell in love with the process. And, like, he, if anybody who know him, he's about the process, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I fell in love with it, bro. And it just, it was like a, a, I wouldn't even say a weekly, but like a daily improvement. Like, how I felt. Yeah. You know, and from my peers, from my coaches and stuff, it was... Every day, bro, things were just, it was just like light switches. Like, clockwork. like, yeah, bro, just cutting on, like, okay, got it. Okay, got it. And I've always been one of those players where, like, I never repeat a mistake. So it's like, if I get all these out now, like, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. good, bro. And that's really what it was, you know. Um, fell in love with the transition. Um, obviously, like you said, came over even from the Giants, uh, from the Jets. And uh, got my little first off the edge and stuff yeah, and blitzing. blitzing so, yeah. yeah, and the Jets, they don't, you know, do that too much. Mm -hmm. So, again, it was new for me. So, boom, start learning this. And I'm like, okay, now you just start understanding concepts, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And for me, that was really what it, what it was, like, understanding defensive concepts. Because, again, before, like, corners, bro, everybody going to kill me for this. <laughs> <laughs> that is the dumbest position in football. Close to it, bro. <laughs> they going to kill me for that. They going to the kill dumbest? me for that. Why? Bro. You don't need to think too much. It's a skillful yeah, position, yeah. bro. Don't that's get me wrong. Athletic. That's yeah, very true. That's, it, yeah, it's strictly, it's a skillful position. They don't need to know the inside. They don't need to know run schemes. They don't need to know. Yeah, that's you facts. Know, it just, it's, All it's, they need to know is strap this guy in strap, front of me. Strap him up. Don't <laughs> let Burke catch the ball. Like, right. It's just Type that shit. simple. Yeah, really. Yeah. But um, y'all don't kill me for that. But yeah, so it's like just transitioning to a more mental uh position within the game is so. that the hardest you think because we always had this debate and we see it on twitter yeah. all the time like is that the hardest position it's probably the least amount you have to think but i think <sighs> i think it's the hardest athletically it might be the hardest i think yeah think? yeah because you're such an in-betweener you need to be big enough to get up in there mm -hmm. and you need to be light and fast enough to cover on the outside right, and yeah. even well specifically with not our defense zero like you need a guard you're, slot you're yeah. manning tight up. end you yeah not just tight up. end yeah, yeah you gotta strap up it's boy. hard so, playing db bro yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to be non-biased because he a former running back but he uh, know ball okay, okay. you know what i'm saying he know ball like playing db is hard that's tough bro yeah, that's even tough. safety like bro being you got in the that, box you yeah. curl flat you hook weak hook strong hook like it's it's a lot of knowledge bro. Yeah. so i would i would say it's up there with mike backer I okay. would say it's up there with Mike Backer because it's the same scenario. You're working with the back end. You got to turn around. You got to talk. You got to talk to the ends. You definitely got to know your run. So it's it's a little different. You gotta I be smart, definitely... bro. You got to be mm -hmm. smart for sure. Um, you know, you talked about not making the same mistake twice, mm -hmm. right? And so far during camp, you've been balling. Like, you've yeah. had a crazy camp because I go to the camps and I watch mm -hmm. you. Like, you haven't, at least that I've seen, you haven't made too many mistakes, right? Yeah. So you've really been balling. Like, the one-handed catch, preseason <laughs> game, TFL, then you have a PBU, then you have a pick to start it off. Like, <laughs> it's really been like a opportunity meets preparation type of thing. Yeah. Talk about, like, you during this process throughout camp and, like, up to now, this point, game week. Yeah. And you hit it right on the head right there. It's just, uh, it's just the process, bro, and preparing and, and then – that 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 time frame of the opportunity comes and it's like you know what you gonna do yeah. you know and um I think I think I think the Lions game was a a, a big testament to that mm -hmm. and just my whole offseason man uh 
had an off season, you know, t- typical NFL off season, you do your vacations, you, you know, you vibe, you enjoy, you're young, you got money. Like I stayed here. Like I stayed at the crib. I stayed right at the facility. Damn. Um, I was, cause in this league, bro, this, this shit stand for not for long for a reason. So I, yeah. I know I got one up, like, you know what I'm saying? And not this specs. is, I, I won't be doing this forever, but like, mm-hmm. this is something I love. I want to give it everything I got. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Man, I just I prepare it like a maniac, bro. To like honestly, just to As say, you it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be. You can't be one foot in, one foot yeah, out in this bro. league. Like it's, you'll get dogged bro, out. In someone's this league, always bro. coming for you, yeah. bro. Somebody coming. Somebody they coming right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it is what it. You gotta you gotta be so invested, bro. But um, camp man, it was just kind of like what I live by, bro. I just you don't repeat the same mistake, and I leave it all up to my athletic ability. Yeah, and like I feel like honestly, that's where I differ from people. I think I'm very different when mm-hmm. it comes to like testing numbers and just yeah. explosiveness and jumping, one hand catch. Like yeah. I have a lot of confidence in that that I I can make those plays because I've been making them for a while in my career. Yeah, you know, it's just not at this this uh this stage. Right. You know, people so, are now starting to see like mm-hmm. yep. what you've already known. Exactly. Type of thing. Exactly. And I and saw now, I saw an interview um, with the media. They actually, I think they interviewed your DB coach, and they yeah. asked him, um, like, are you surprised? And the DB coach was like, no. We knew what type of player we were getting yeah. when he came from the Jets. Like, nah, bro, you shouldn't be surprised. Like, you making them plays and you playing well. Like you said, it was all in the preparation. You bust and, your ass Yeah, like you, mm-hmm. like, you know the exactly. type of player you are. So it's like, when he asked him, I started laughing. I was like, yeah, he know. He's, he's not surprised. <laughs> like, yeah. they know they got a dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but going in... Um, Going into this next question, that viral ca- that viral catch, bro. To me, like I said, I wasn't shocked or surprised because I know yeah. you, bro. And you're a great track and field athlete for the people that don't yeah. know. God damn it. Uh, I, you know was, I was looking at that joint like, fool. <laughs> crazy track and field athlete. This motherfucker crazy. Super hops. <laughs> Talk about that, man. I, th- I feel like that was like one of the sparks of camp. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that really shined a light on you like damn like that was a great catch and then they started seeing how well you played mm-hmm. but talk about that viral moment and you know from then on especially against waller yeah yeah, yeah. And I, I was gonna talk about that specifically man because it, it, it was kind of my first introduction to like like how political the world i am i'm in now yeah you know because it's like when i went up and jumped and like i was talking to d wall i'm like bro when i went up and saw the ball it's just like backyard football again i saw yeah. i'm like i could catch that shit like let <laughs> me try this <laughs> like hey let me try this shit real quick oh uh, go grab it and it's like then i get in my locker and it's like bing 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 and i'm like yeah that was kind of crazy oh that was dj who threw it oh that is d wall like, yeah it's just like you'd be like oh shit like i'm I, that is some big people like doing you know big shit in their career you, i mean in their profession but um i mean to me bro it was just a catch bro right. so you know like right right it's, it's hard when people ask me like yo what about that catch about that catch? i can show you like two three videos of me doing that in high school like, high school with yeah Kesey. that's what i'm saying yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah, crazy bro, one hand catches many of them like that's just i've been doing them catches i've been practicing them catches like i've had older siblings i was the youngest so like i had older oh you can't do that you can't do that what <clears throat> yeah. you, you've already yeah. done it you've done it a hundred times already a hundred times bro like literally so i mean the catch was obviously i'm grateful for it because it it, it was obviously the spark yeah it, it shined a light on you bro you know what yeah. i'm saying to to show the world that I'm not regular. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, so I, I, I'm i grateful I was able to do that um, in the time frame where it was crunch time, honestly. You know, we was fighting for a position um, and was able to kind of show people I'm different. Yeah, no facts. That was a great pub, too. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. yeah for real. Um, and you, you plugged into a, a defense that's loaded, yeah. right? Like, y'all got some monsters. You, X-Man right next to mm-hmm. you, Adoree, Deontay, mm-hmm. Hawkins, like... Isaiah, Bobby, and then y'all front is crazy. Like Dex, Leo, Leo you got Kayvon, Aziz. Uh-huh. Like y'all defense is is something on paper, right? What do you expect from yourself? And then who's somebody on the defense that you look and you like, this dude is, is he's not real. Yeah. That that motherfucker is not <laughs> that real. That motherfucker is not real. So when I cut the film, I, and I tell people this all the time, bro, is like, my front. It mm. ain't, it's no other question. Like everybody, like you said, man, Bobby, you name it. I got you. Isaiah Simmons, freak. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. bro, the front, bro. Like when you're a safety and you you can get in your vibe in the game 
and know that nothing's going to break. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like you it's, there's a certain, that's one of the hardest tackles in football, bro. Middle of the field, he busts open. Two way goal. And, and he can you, do whatever, yeah. And 100,000 fans, like, bro, that's, <laughs> that's, scary, that's a hard bro. tackle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, and I, I pride myself in them tackles, but to have them two up the plug, and I know they are not moving, <laughs> and if they're moving, they're going the other way. Right. Like, bro, I'm, that's, it's, it's wild to watch. Like, Dex on any given play can be like, Okay, I'm finna just walk him back. That's what I was like, I telling him. I'm like, bro, that back dude to the is crazy. Bro. He's is the crazy, biggest, bro. most athletic dude ever, Damn. and he just be joking. Like it's crazy because you, yeah. like, if you don't know him, <laughs> sexy duck just dude. And then you looking, hear yeah. him on the, on the field, yeah, bro. Yeah, he just be joking type stuff. It's bro, like bro. this dude is dominating the NFL, and he's bro. a clown. Like it, <laughs> it's literally a comedian, but like he me and his says like I'm coming, like coming for you. Like what? Bro, he's funny as hell, bro. I'll be looking at him times i'm like bro what one single block is gonna stop this man like no what, one you bro. have to account for like three people three for him, people bro. for this dude bro <laughs> like three people bro if you want to move and if that's where you want to run bro that's just you you have to do a lot to yeah. run right there bro and he's, that's why we get freaky. a lot of perimeter runs because mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta run around that leo and Dex, you have to run around that and then he he make the play and he do he do this shit. Do the, nah, it's like, like yeah. and then you can't even get tight because he built like the Incredible Hulk. So it's like you know what I mean? so what you really gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah that, he's he's crazy. But what can you expect from yourself? Like you yeah. talk about your team, and I know you a real humble, modest guy. Yeah. But what what like expectations do you have for yourself being in that position? Because you the you the new face that's mm -hmm. that's starting and plugged in there. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like when you in, in a perfect world. What does Jay Penny do in this in this defensive scheme? Now, and and I don't talk about like individual goals too much because at the end of the day, we are in a league where if we win, everybody wins. Everybody wins. Yeah. That's yep. just the yep. truth. Yeah, sure. y'all know that. Yep. We win, everybody win. Everybody get paid and yep. everything all golden. You know what I'm yep. saying? But Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Yeah. Pro Bowl. For like, sure. it's, it's just, I'm really, bro, like at a point, like, and the people who know me throughout my whole athletic career, bro, I'm tired. I'm tired of being a diamond in the rough. Right. Like, that gets old, don't it? Gets it gets old, it gets old, it gets old for real. Like, and I'm, I'm really even if y'all watch my preseason or just camp throughout, like I play with this sort of source of like anger, you know. Yeah. And, and that's honestly that's where it come from. Uh, it's it's a it's a controlled anger. Um, from being the youngest and you know mm -hmm. always having to fight and this and that and just kind of being a little bit under recruited, underappreciated, yeah. and it's like, yo, it's 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 time. Somebody gave me a crack in the door. Uh, much respect, much love, but it's it's time to go kill this shit now. Like yeah. it's time to show this league, like oh, bro, different. Mm -hmm. like, bro, you got that chip on your shoulder, bro, getting different. stale. Yeah, yeah, like, man, it what <laughs> shit crumbling. Bro. So it's like it's time, bro, for real. So if you talk about what I see myself, Pro Bowl, like it's gonna be numbers. Like it's mm -hmm. gonna be a yep. it's gonna be a good year, bro. Yeah. I just pray for health and I pray that we win. Honestly, Facts. at the end of the day, when you know, it, it's gonna take care of itself like it's, you said. Exactly. And the way they using you like just that yeah. one preseason game, like you was doing everything. <laughs> everything. I seen you covering a, a crosser in PBU. <laughs> then I see you blitzing off the end. Mm -hmm. Boom, TFL. Then I see you in the back reading the film. I'm like, they got this dude doing everything. Like that's where you want to be. Bro, that one drive and that's why I, bro, I, I shout out Wink, man. That's like that was my blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. uh, just his scheme alone, uh, him as a person. Um, yeah, that that drive alone, bro, you get a middle of the field play. Yeah. Pick, you get blitz off the edge, tackle for loss. Mm -hmm. You get cover zero, what we're known for. Yep. PBU. I, I play man. One of the hardest I play routes. middle of the field. I tackle and I go get the rock. And I was able to show that. Mm -hmm. I'm able to show that like I really, in this scheme. Yeah. I you really know? think you get to show... I love how you get to show your athleticism yeah. in his defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, that I think is so key. Yeah. Like, you get to do everything. Everything, bro. Everything that I know I can do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, like, blitz. Like, play man. Like, I, I played corner my whole life. That comes natural to me. When I go down there and get in the man, it's just like a muscle memory. Yeah. You know? So, heading into week one, um, like, there's a lot of hype around the team, man, a lot of new additions, um, and there's some really high expectations, right? Heading into week one, you guys haven't beat Dallas in a while. What can you expect heading into this? Like, what can we see and expect from the Giants? Mm -hmm. I got a similar question like this from the media last week, and, and I... Uh, 
asking media questions. Like, uh, so nah, I don't know. Nah, You're not the media. Good. This is the second win podcast. I know, I know, Are you dumb? Uh, I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I know uh, it's, nah, it's like it's like the past truly is sports, and y'all know it. It don't matter. It don't. Yeah. You know, it, it don't, don't matter. It don't. You know the worst saying? team could be the best. The best team could be the worst. That you <laughs> never know. We could two old, two old they ass right this year. This year. Mm-hmm. Then it's like. It's this year. Like, right. it don't matter about, yeah, what, what I think we're, because he threw the statistic at me. I think we're like 2 and 16 or some right. wild shit like that. Mm-hmm. I get right. it. Um, but this ain't no big brother, little brother scenario. You know what I'm saying? We don't fear them. They yeah, they it's the NFL. Yeah, it's the NFL, bro. Every year is different. It's a different year. You're going to have to come see this every year. Every year. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, um, which I can, I mean, expect from us. I can't even say more so than like, bro, we're going to lace them up. Yeah, we're going to play right, ball. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it ain't nothing crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. they don't intimidate us. There's nothing. We want them. Right. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? At we the want crib, them. Like, at the crib. Right where you want to be. Night, home environment is going to be. It's going to be I might run on oh, the field. If I run on the field, you're going to tackle me? <laughs> Man, I be trying to chill. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, you know what I'm saying? I, when, I, when I get asked questions about the game or just like even preparing, I be catching myself. I have to relax. Like, that's how much we ready to just like explode, bro. Yeah. And this, you know, this year feels a lot different than last year because mm-hmm. obviously y'all made the playoffs, but that that playoff game, it just seemed like they had more dudes. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This year, it feel like y'all match up with Any, anybody in the dudes, league. Bro. Like Joe, Joe, Joe winning his bag. Yeah, he's his bag. Like, <laughs> I feel like y'all, like defensively, <laughs> offensively, like we already talked about the defense and yeah. how y'all got all the monsters over there. But like, even on the offensive side, like talk about like Darren coming in mm-hmm. and like Hyatt, like Hyatt's a rookie, but he's serious. Yeah, like he's, he's serious. fast as a mother sucker. And uh-huh. You can't teach that. So yeah. talk about them two additions. And then DJ, you know, being second year in this mm-hmm. scheme, like he's comfortable as hell. Like I watch when y'all did a little scrimmage and yeah. he just looked poised. Like he know where everybody's going to be. Talk, super comfortable. Yeah. So talk exactly. about that a little bit. The new additions on the offense. Really, everything you just said is it's we got guys finally where they're not plug in guys. They're mm. guys with ability that you can't coach. Yeah. And when you get ability that you can't coach with great coaches, it's that's unbeatable. It's tricky. Yeah. And like specifically with D wall, man, like that's a one of one. Like I like I'm I take him over any tight end. As you should. You Over see any it every day. Then. Every day. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's more so, it may be biased, obviously, because I see it every day. But there are reps where I, and we argue about this shit all the time, so I don't care. <laughs> I win. Right. I'm winning. <laughs> You're winning and the his rep. His catch radius is, cr- is crazy. Mm. That's how His it be, catch though. radius is crazy. <laughs> you can Fantastic. be right. There. You can win. Literally, bro. <laughs> you can win everything. Do everything right. And just. He gonna catch it's that It's like a shit, good bro. defense, better it's, offense yeah, type of thing. Your yeah, your here, the ball here, he right here. <laughs> like his aunt, bro, he just, he's a freak, bro. But that's gonna make you so good, good bro. Man. You know, going against guys like that every day in practice. Exactly. You go out there, I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone, every week you guys play, mm-hmm. everyone's good, but like you say, he's a one-of-one one type player. Yeah. Even like, say, like no linebacker, like, Certain not like dudes like say, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I've never, I be joking with say, I'm like, I've never seen somebody make somebody miss in the hole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ain't even got a two-way go yet. <laughs> right. He's just one on one. Right, yeah, right. Bro, these boys scared. Like, he just, uh, 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 uh. I've never seen my dead leg spin out of in the hole. Like, right. Bro, a, he doing these moves in the hole, bro. He ain't even got a two-way go. It's bro, crazy, ain't even bro. get second level yet. It's yeah. Crazy. So, I mean, bro, DJ, then our speed, Hyatt, I mean, if y'all ain't seen enough preseason, he's taking the yeah, top off the saying? coverage. That speed is serious. That speed is for real. Like I'm one of them with the the catapult numbers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like oh, I, you be I like to check that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like to check that. He's a 22.8 plus every day in pads. Like just in, in pads. In yeah. pads. 20, I don't think people realize he's how he's speeding in sliding. a like school zone, like on feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for real. wild, yeah. bro. That's wild, fam. The, bro, that shit fast. Bro. In pads. Yeah. Uh, Wandell Robinson coming back. Oh, yeah. Healthy. Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's quick as a cat. Quick, bro. Quick. Super. <laughs> it's, bro, it's, it's some shit, bro. Yeah. I'm, ex- I'm excited to see, see y'all. And I'm excited to see the whole NFC East because mm-hmm. all the teams is good. Like, before it was like teams don't got it, you know, yeah. on the depth chart wise, mm-hmm. like talent wise. All the teams is good. Like, it's yeah. up for grabs. I know everybody's like, oh, this team, this, this team, this yeah, team. But nah. if you really look at the roster top down, it's like. Yeah. All of these teams, like, you know what I'm like, saying? We all like, good now. The yeah, NFC yeah. East, every time is going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, for sure. With all of them, honestly. I, like, I truly feel like that. 
Washington's up there too. Everybody, you know, Washington has been kind of the the low pick of the pot, but they got some talent they over got there. Talent yeah, too. they do. Yeah. Got some they great do. coaches now, and this. I'm excited to see. Yeah, it for sure. I like I like Howell over there too. He he's pretty good. Yeah, he's uh, so if you had to, you know, describe your life in one word or phrase, yeah, you all close to the mic, back up. Like I, mean, I, I try to tell him to lower the, the, the mic. You're fucking hard headed. I like, try to tell him to lower the shit, boy? man. God damn. Ask the question, bro. <laughs> let me repeat my shit. Man. Set the let, move, let, bro. Let Set the move. Set my bad. I'm wilding out. This is a deep question. You supposed to answer some real hard headed shit. Okay. So, if you had to describe your life in one word or phrase up until this point, what would you say? Mm. Can't use adversity, though. Yeah, right, right. You said a phrase, though, right? Yep. One word or phrase. And why? Get, get what you put in. Um, my Why? I, th- I think it, the quote kind of said itself. It's like, I've, I put a lot in. Uh, I, I, I've sacrificed a lot. Watch my peers. Um, do less, get more, you know, that type of thing. Mm. Um, and th- that this is from high school, middle school, college to now, you know, I know how much I invest into this game, into my body. Um, and really just because that's a, a kind of a quote, my fam I always lived by, like my brother and my cousins and stuff. It's like, bro, don't be doing all that crying now. Like you don't just get shit in life, bro. You don't right. just, shit don't just happen for you. Like you gotta go get it, you know what I'm saying? Just and, your lap. Right, and I think um, all the fighting, scratching, and clawing that I did, like in my life growing up, um, was for this, like for this one op, you know? Yeah. And like, it's it, it's just time, bro. It's time. You was built for it, bro. That's it. All the work that you put in. No, that's a great. Right. That's a great answer. No, that is a great answer. And uh, the last staple question that we always ask, you know, if if people watch this and they don't take nothing away from the whole conversation, mm-hmm. we want them to take some away from this. So, for anybody watching that's trying to catch their second win, that's trying to you know overcome something in their life, how you overcame mm-hmm. obstacles in your life, what advice would you give them? Whether they're trying to be the next you, yeah. or whether they going through. You know, something else that's not yeah. football related, but just in life, what advice can you give them? Be selfish as hell with who you let in your life. Your mm. your circle, your core, your the people around you are a reflection of not only what you're gonna do now and who you are, but your future. Like I, I truly believe that. Like my core, the more I think back on it, bro, my core has always been my core. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's never changed, it's never wavered. People may be added, you know, but it's never I'm very selective, bro. You mm-hmm. know, like it's a lot. And we were just talking kind of off camera before this. Yep. You know, it's like you young, you got a lot. You could get lost quick, bro. Yeah. Like quick, bro. Get outside of yourself. Get outside yourself. You know, come a little arrogant. And it's like, I always had them people in, in your corner that's going to humble you, you know, for the right reasons. And check Damn. you. Put you in check. That might have been Damn. my, I think that's my favorite answer for that question. No we d- we did like 30 podcasts. That's yeah. my favorite answer. That, that, I believe that whole That's a damn good answer. Too. That's, that means I got to get rid of Jarvis. I got to get rid of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker I gotta, always want to be I around. I got to get rid of him, like, bro. You get out of my always circle, my face, boy. Bro. Like, you, don't, you don't belong in my circle bro. for more. I got to be I gotta be selfish and selective. Fuck are you talking about? You're not about to be in my circle no more, boy. I might start rapping on this joint. stand this midget. I'm talking about some rapping, bro. stand this midget, bro. Hey, second win fam. Family, man we appreciate y'all tuning in make Real. sure y'all like comment subscribe. subscribe make sure y'all tune in sunday and for the rest of the season to see my boy jay penny do what Doing he was born thing, to man. do he was made to do make sure y'all go tell y'all aunties y'all cousins y'all pet grandma cat, pet y'all fish. pet nieces <laughs> Pet Anything, music. man. Everybody, 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 man. Everybody. Go tell whoever you need to tell. Second win family, All, we out. Also, man, one last thing. <laughs> we not out. Sh- cat. One last thing, man. Shout out to the 860 and the 203. You know, um, Connecticut, man. You know, Girl. wanna. One of Connecticut stars, bro. Philly. I don't know what you talking about, but yeah. Start throwing gang signs in the pot? Connecticut, for start, real. Start the A6 like, bro. No, I ain't, I ain't say that, but no. Nah, shout out to the A6 on 203. For all the people from Connecticut watching, Jay Penny is a stand-up guy, and you follow his story, you follow his journey. You could do it too. So, um, yes, sir. Stay, stay the path. Second Much win. Love. Much love. Gang and him.